my video on uh, counter current material flows and mineral processing. Link in the description. So see, this is a classic case of where you would use it. This is the primary concentrator. This would be what you call the rougher. This would be a scavenger. That's another scavenger. We also have a, a settling point. That bucket right there catches a significant amount of gold. That wasn't its design purpose, but it does do it. It has to be cleaned out too. There's a significant amount of that. So, here we have a situation where this material here tends to be washing up over the side here. That It's not a symmetrical bump. This is where the gold tends to concentrate in this tray. So what I'm doing now is every bucket of ore I set on the impact mill, I'll scoop one or two scoops of this up and move it upstream back into the concentrator. In addition, we keep an eye on that down there to make sure you're not losing too much gold. If these build up too much gold in them, it'll start losing significant amounts. Once that starts getting too much gold in it, then you have to move this material back through the concentrator, get that gold back up here, and keep going. How long that'll take, I don't know yet. It may take a full day or even longer. Depends on how well these things catch it and how well my scooping will keep moving the gold back upstream. So we will see, but that's a classic three concentrator setup where counter current material flows will recover most of the gold. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.